Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dapnik. And in today's demo, we're going to be looking at how to create your first pipeline using Data Factory in Microsoft Fabric. So if you remembered um, from our previous videos on Fabric, it's divided into seven streams. Um, so Data Factory is one of them. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to use this Data Factory stream to create a pipeline in your Microsoft Fabric workspace. All right, so the first thing we do is we just hit this switcher at the bottom left corner of your screen, hit Data Factory, and then you come to this uh, tab where you can create artifacts. So we're gonna be working with two main artifacts uh, within Data Factory. These are uh, the main ways in which we ingest data into Fabric. So that's the Data Flow Gen 2 and Data Pipeline. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to create a pipeline. So to do that, just hit this pipeline button and then we can give it a name such as maybe first pipeline. As soon as you hit create, it spins up a pipeline. The important thing to note is there's no um, integration runtime or anything. All the processing is managed on the back end and has to do with the, uh, the fabric capacity that your organization has uh, taken in uh, for its tenant, right? So yeah, this is the uh, Microsoft Fabric uh, Pipeline uh, UI. It's basically the same as um, Azure Data Factory, but you don't have to create an integration runtime. All the, all the processing or compute is managed. And also uh, the concepts of link services is now known as connections. And there are no data sets to be created for the source or destination uh, of your data. All right, so let's do a simple copy data just to show you how it works. And then we can take a look at some of the activities. So I hit the copy data and we have this new copy data wizard right now where we can choose our source and it guides us through the process of creating your first pipeline. So for now, just to keep it simple, I'm gonna use this public holidays sample data, but we do have a long list of sources. So I've selected public holidays and it's in a tabular form which we can understand from this um, grid once the data is previewed we can hit next and then you can start choosing your destination so if you want to like in uh, azure data factory of old you can write this data uh, to any of these compatible locations but if you want to write it write it into your a uh, lake house in your fabric workspace you just hit this lake house connector with within the workspace and then next and then you can choose which lake house you want to write it into you can either create a new lake house or you'll get uh, a drop down of all your existing lake houses and then the coolest part is you can now choose to write it as either a table or a file into your lake house so um, since it's a parquet file it can be either written as a table or a file but for the purposes of this demo, I'll write it as a table. And if it's an incremental or repeatedly running pipeline, you can choose the uh, the writing action, whether you want it to be appended or overwritten. For this action, I'll just leave it as append and give it a name. So it's a holiday sample data in parquet form. So I'll just call the table holiday, hit next. And then you can see that it gives you a brief overview or summary of the pipeline. And you can check the start data transfer immediately, save and run. So if we move over to the pipeline. Run it. It'll begin running slowly. And as you can see, we get, once it's fully run, we get the succeeded message and you can view some of the details related to the pipeline run, as in the amount of memory taken up in the destination and source, etc., the time and uh, other technical details. And just to verify that it's working, we can go back to your workspace, go to the lake house that we created earlier. I linked to a video of how to create a lake house. And in the table section, you can see the table that we had created using this pipeline holiday from 
uh, holiday park a sample file which is available in uh, the copy data uh, wizard so as you can see it's all come and we have a huge uh, table full of all public holidays so that's how you create your first pipeline in uh, Microsoft Fabric thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment or hit the bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next one